Hi, my name's Nick, and this is Ezrabath. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong, and if I am, I apologise. But this is a holiday-based visual novel, and you are Ezrabath, I think. Ezrabath is a bit recluse. She's kind of a grumpy old lady, from what I gather. Um, her family have come, and she's being constantly bothered by them, and she wants to be left alone. Also, she's stuck in a time loop, so, you know, that's fun. Also, I have lights behind me. I I bought these because I thought that the length would be enough to go around the whole thing. I was wrong. I was wrong. By a complete third, it would appear. So, you know, more lights will be coming soon. I'm still playing about with my setup, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Nobody really gives a shit. Um, okay, so, let's go can't remember if I said that this is a demo or not. This is a demo, if I haven't. So yeah, there's just the, I'm assuming the one chapter for this. A holiday mind fudge. Mind fudge is such a good word. An old bitter recluse finds herself stuck in a mysterious time loop during the winter holidays. The original Winter Jam 2022 visual novel complete with new content unique to this version of the game. Nice. I didn't actually realise this was part of a game jam. I love game jams. Early 21st century. The winter holidays. Somewhere in Europe. Love the art style. The residence of Evzrebeth Casaris. Casaris. Casarek? I'm going to go with Casaris. Heiress to a vast fortune. Sister, wife, mother, grandmother, and recluse by choice. The dream. Love the hermit lifestyle. Hello? The hell is that noise? Oh, right. The damn doorbell waking me up. What time is it? 4 pm already. My sleep schedule is clearly beyond redemption. Maybe whoever it is will go away if I just ignore it. Let's not play these games, Ezrabeth. I know you're in there. The pleasant timber of your footsteps permeate the air. Shit. It's her. Must be that time of year again then. Hello? Oh, hold on. You can freely inspect Ezra's house between events. The door can wait. Happy days. One shouldn't stress during the holidays after all. Vibes. I like it. It's painting. Sometimes when I look at this painting, it feels like the landscape subtly changes. It must be my imagination, of course. Mm. A present from my loving husband. The sink of foil with its five petals reminds him of our family. One petal for each member of the Casarese clan. I suppose I don't entirely hate the metaphor. Cute. Say she cares, really. Family photograph. A photograph of all five of us together. My sister, Bagonia, the insufferable hag. It's either her or her. I'm not sure. I'm assuming this is probably Ezra Beth, but I'm not sure. My husband, Charter, the one person I can stand. My son, Ishobella, the perpetual disappointment. My grandson, Volumnius, to whom I'm fairly indifferent. And of course, me. Casseries family in all its perceived glory. Okay, I... I think I'm kind of a dick. Outdated calendar. It's clearly not August anymore, but who cares? I'll just keep crossing off days at my own pace. I don't need to look in there right now. It's fine. Fancy rugs! Pains me to think that one day these fine rugs might be passed on to someone else. You would be buried in them, I suppose. It's a bit weird, but you could. Growing up, my sister would always complain about my taste in clothes. Spartan as it is. For that very reason, these rags will always have a special place in my heart. Damn, I just hate everyone, don't I? For those insufferably hot days of summer. Or for throwing at unwanted guests. Nice. The Larkspur. Alluring, deceptive, and poisonous. Admirable qualities all round. It's my shopping list. Right now, it only says alcohol. 
I have my priorities. Oh, here's Rebeth. Chandelier. It keeps the light on. Can't complain about utilities properly fulfilling their intended purposes. No. See what you want. Ooh, but first, a festive wreath. A piece of glorified grass. It's rubbish, really. Yep, that went about as well as I was expecting. Okay, let's open the door. Suppose there's nowhere to run. Might as well let her in. <sighs> Sister dearest. Begonia. Took you long enough to open the creaky door. Oh, that was hardly an Ari. Oh? One would almost be inclined to believe that you don't want any company. You know I don't. I, um... I bought you some plums. I, I don't recall asking for gifts. It's the holiday, sister. Gifts are part of the eloquent package of festivities which this time of year entails. Being left alone would have been an even better gift. Thanks for the, uh... Fruit. However, I don't have anything to give you back. So, how about you get the hell out? Sheesh. Straight to the point, aren't we? I suppose I have but myself to blame for expecting anything else. Yep. Right. Can't I, um... What? Can't I stay for a drink? One does not feel inclined to waste any of one's fine liquor on you. Hmm. Well, I'll settle for a coffee. Fine. I'll pour you an espresso. The smallest possible drink. So that you'll be rid of me faster, I assume. Obviously. Take it or leave it. I shall take it then. Am I justified in my hatred of the world? Like, what's happened? <laughs> Enjoy. Don't mind if I do. What? I'm... I'm worried about you. You, you have me... A husband. A son. A grandson. Yet you choose to isolate yourself out here, doing God knows what all day. I... I just don't understand. The fact that you don't understand isn't my problem. I just want to be alone. Yes, I know. Don't interrupt me. You don't get to come out here acting all innocent after everything you've done. Drinking my damn coffee like you're entitled to it. I, uh, I know there's nothing I can say or do that will make things right between us, but I love you. Ugh. And you were always better than me. I guess I was just jealous all the time, you know? Jealous of your abilities, your individuality, your loving family. You're blessed with so much. And I have absolutely nothing. As it should be. What the hell happened? That is some seething hatred. Now, leave. Fine. Happy holidays, sister dearest. Bye, Begonia. Hurtful. But admittedly clever. Be Begonia. That's not smart. Damn her. Seeing her broken like this, admitting my superiority, it's almost too good to be true. I guess there's some justice to be found in this useless life, after all. It's strange. Before today, I can't really remember her ever being nice to me. What's she playing at? Clearly, this must be yet another one of her sick schemes. I mean, there's... Someone else is here? Or, actually, judging from the voices outside, two of them? My son and grandson, mayhaps? Oh, will this tiresome business never end? Open the door. Hey, called it. Great. My incompetent offspring is here. Salutations, Mama. Say hello to Grandmother Volumnius. 
Hello. Speak up, young man. S sorry. Hello, grandmother. My son, Ishabello. Rich and successful, but as awkward and charmless as they come. And my grandson, Volumnius. A spoiled brat through and through. Not to mention the moronic name they decided to give him. Ugh. I can't possibly imagine what I've ever done so wrong as to deserve the punishment of having these dolts in my life. God damn! Sh savage! Mama? Have you gone hard of hearing? Of course not, idiot. I'm just struggling to understand why you're here, since I've clearly told you that I do not want company. You even brought that little twerp along. Oh. Mama, please, if you could refrain from talking of your grandson in such a manner. Fine. Welcome, then, to my humble abode. That is most gracious of you, Mama. I, I can't help but notice that your calendar still says August. So? I still cross days off daily. I just started the year late. I, I don't believe that's how it's supposed to be used, Mama. Mind your own business. Uh, at any rate, we've, um... That is to say, we've... Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, yes. We've bought you a gift. <sighs> Took you long enough to get that sentence out. Oh, yes, well, uh, right. Token of my appreciation for entrusting the family business to me. And, of course, to celebrate this, the most festive of seasons... The fact that you haven't run St. Catherine's Hospital into the ground yet is a decent enough gift already. Oh, thank you, Mama. I do have to give credit where it's due. My son might be a socially inept halfwit, but he graduated from medical school with full honours. Even so, I never expected his ascent CEO of our hospital to be so... efficient. I'd never tell him that, of course. He needs to know his place, as all of us must in this world. Each sentence is making me like Azrath a little bit less. Mama? What? You fell silent. I, I thought... Oh, no, no matter. Volumnius, give your grandmother the gift. Yes, father. Um... Volumnius? I, um... I, I don't have it. Maybe it's still outside. You had one job, Volumnius. One! How do you expect to be a hero when you grow up if you can't even shoulder the responsibility of bringing a gift from the car? I'm, I'm sorry. A, 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 a hero? Uh, yes, um, uh, forgive me, Mama. I'm afraid my son has gotten it into his impressionable mind that doctors are heroes set loose in society to save lives. He wants to be a doctor because doctors are heroes. The reality, of course, is that it's just a job. Attaching superlatives to it is nothing short of demeaning. Saving a life is not the result of some bespoke hero, but a coordinated effort carried out by a highly trained team of medical professionals. Don't sulk, Volumnius. There are no heroes. Now go get Grandmother's gift. Oh... I feel, I feel for Volumnius. I really do. He's just a kid, and he, all his dad knows is my misery. So obviously, all he's going to know is misery, and in turn, it's just generational trauma. Yes, father. Channeling your own experiences into your son, Isabella. Of, of course. He might find such lessons to be cruel right now, but it will make him a better man. I do not doubt that he will thank me for it one day. Is that so? And I must say that I find it passing strange how your father and I never heard your thankfulness towards us. Uh, actually, I was talking to Papa the other day. Um, that is to say... You are right, of course, Mama. Thank you for all your enlightened guidance throughout my formative years. I'll take that as sarcasm, but I knew that he was incapable of it. And how is my daughter-in-law? Oh, she's, uh... 
I'd rather not discuss it. Fine. I don't really care anyway. Oh, uh, it seems Volumnius has returned from his perceived hero's journey. I, I found it. This is for you, Grandmother. It's a bottle of finely distilled whiskey, unwrapped so as to save you the trouble and time of opening it. Just the way I like it. But, father, what, what's wrong with Grandmother's face? Hmm? Oh. She's smiling, Volumnius. Uh, oh. It's... it's scary. Ha! <laughs> I do believe this is the first time in a good while that I've smiled, yes. It would seem that our gift is appreciated then. Oh, absolutely. Only, I'm not smiling on account of the gift's quality. I'm smiling at the fact that this whiskey is piss poor. Uda Savadalia from 1987. That's a terrible year for it. Its taste can only be described as, oh, let's see, concentrated dog urine. What? But, but I was assured that you can't get anything right, idiot Bello. You never could. Now get yourself and that moronic son of yours out of my sight. My only wish for the holidays was to be left alone. You couldn't honour that, and you couldn't procure a decent bottle of scotch. You're useless, just like the rest of them. Mama, that's... your mean grandmother. Volumnius. We only wanted to spend some time with you, and Father searched so hard for that bottle, and... That's enough. Be silent, young man. You're not wrong, grandson. I am mean. Pray that your path in life leads you somewhere else than mine. Huh? We're leaving, Volumnius. Happy holidays, Mama. Oof. Damn, Azareth. You need to chill. And my glass is all steamed up with your rage. What are you doing? I know how unlikable I am. It's the only thing I've ever known how to be. I never managed to fit in anywhere, and the few times I tried, People were cruel to me. Then, when I completely retreated inside myself, everyone somehow got even worse. They were afraid of me and my gift. But can anyone truly blame me for wanting to keep myself safe? I never had the chance to be something else other than what I am. It's strange. My choices should have led to no one ever wanting to come here. Yet my family insists on pestering me. It's like every day is a holiday. Only I... Again! It's so fast, how is that even possible? But, um... Oh. Could it be... Could it be him? Who's him? Good day, my love. Charter. I met Hisho outside. He didn't seem at all happy about seeing his mother. Well, I know that you think of him a disappointment, Ezra. Nonetheless, he is still our son. The only son we'll ever have. I'm trying my best. You may not believe it, but it's true. At least, I want to believe it is. I don't doubt it. Things are just a bit... shit. Shit, crap, and everything else. Your vocabulary, my dear. What about it? Since retreating out here, I fear you've slowly been losing your eloquent tongue. So? I have a feeling that I'll lose even more of it as time goes by. Besides, my outside voice never really matched my inside voice anyway. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, Ezra. Even if all you uttered were litanies and curses, I would still adore you more than anyone else on this earthly plane of existence. Please don't talk to me like that. You know I can't handle it. You just need more practice, my love. It's too late for that. All I ever heard growing up was bad things. Je, no, Rachel, no drama. Your loving words won't ever be able to negate that entirely. Although, I do appreciate it. I... Hmm? I don't know how you put up with me. 
after being in love with my sister for so long, why would you ever... Oh, bringing that up again, are we? What me and your sister shared was a long time ago. Hmm. Scandalous. I only wish I realised sooner that you were the Cassidy sister I was meant to be with. You need to stop dwelling on it. I oh, know. I'm sorry. It's just tough seeing her. She made my childhood so hard, and now she keeps throwing these incessant pity parties. I don't know how to handle it. I understand. She used to tell me about how your gift scared her when you were growing up. Though that's hardly an excuse for tormenting you, of course. Cassarises are a family of damn idiots. I'm the only one with any semblance of intelligence. It's no wonder, then, the dead fear a psychic. I think I've told you this before, but when I was small, a friend of our parents came over. He'd recently lost his wife, though he didn't seem that sad about it. I remember feeling strange about that, thinking it odd that he was so... cold. Then again, I was old enough to know that everyone grieves differently, so I eventually stopped thinking about it. When he left our house, he shook my hand. When shaking it, I felt this intense hatred coming from him, and I just knew that he had killed his wife. It was like I saw things for what they really were. I told Begonia and our parents about it, but obviously they shrugged it off. Why wouldn't they? It was just a child's hunch, after all. Sometime later, he was arrested, and it turned out he did indeed kill her. That was the first time I realised I had this strange ability. Rumours about it spread, and I was ostracised, not only by other children, but by my own family. I understood from an early age that I need to keep myself safe, because no one else will. That's right. You were the only one who was ever kind to me. It broke my heart when you and my sister got engaged, and I still can't remember how I managed to make you change your mind. Isn't that strange? You're the most important person in the world to me, yet I can't even recall our marriage. Time has a tendency to distort and sometimes even cruelly disguise our memories. But please, my love, you didn't change my mind. I was, and still am, perfectly capable of changing it on my own. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Shit. Hmm? Too many strong emotions at once. I had to diffuse the moment. Unseemingly words help with that for some reason. I see. Would you, um... Would you leave me alone for a while? Are you certain, my love? Yes, I, um... I'm happy you came by. But I... Well, it's all a bit much. I understand. I'll catch up with Isho and Vol and spend the rest of the evening with them. If there's anything at all, then I'll call you. Don't worry. Good. Well then. Maybe you could stay a little while longer? What was that? Oh, um, uh, uh, happy holidays to you too, my love. Oh, she's a dick, yes, but characters starting to flesh out. Like I've said, again and again and again and again. Generational trauma. It's all she knew growing up. It's all she knew how to do as a parent. And instead of breaking the pattern, she has just done exactly what her parents did with her boy and now grandson. And unfortunately, Volumnius is going to get the same from his dad, because his dad also seems like he's not breaking the chain. And around and around it goes. But also I'm psychic, so that's a twist. With a mind like mine, it's safe to say that no other enemies are needed. Crap. I, uh... Oh, I guess I should get some rest. Today has been socially exhausting beyond belief. I'll be glad to cross this terrible ordeal off the calendar. <sighs> so I wonder if the time loop's going to kick in and we're going to be back to our sister knocking at the door. Whoa. What's that? Again. This light. That's... Stop it! Who the hell is it? 
nothing has changed from what I can see. Oh, I can't actually interact with anything. Seriously, who the hell is it? No one's there. Well, that is damn strange to say the least. Hi? What? Is, is there someone outside the window? Yes. Who's out there? The hell are you? Some kind of stalker? You, uh... You can see me. Ah! How did you get in here? You're not supposed to be able to see me. What? You rung my doorbell. I'm... I'm sorry. I need to work harder. This... this might hurt a bit. Hurt? Whoa, okay. Where the hell am I? What is this place? Where did that thing go? This... this has to... Interesting. Are we back home again? The, oh, that's so cool. The residence of Ezreth Caceres. Heiress to a vast fortune. Sister, wife, mother, grandmother, and recluse by choice. Ooh, very, very intriguing. Oh, what the hell is that noise? Right, the damn doorbell waking me up. What time is it? 4pm already. My sleep schedule is clearly beyond redemption. Oh, so we are literally just looping it word for word. Wait. Didn't you come here yesterday? Oh, uh, um, no. We haven't seen each other in forever. I've been worrying about you and uh, this isn't funny. Get the hell out of my house. Sister, I, I don't understand. I, I just want there to be peace between us. Can't I come in for a drink? I brought some plums. How could you possibly have known that? Oh, right. What do you mean, oh right? Oh right, Ezra Beth is a freak who knows things others don't. I wasn't going to say that. I don't know what you're playing at, but you're not going to mess with my damn mind. Not this time. Not like you always did when we were growing up. I'll tell you one last time. Get the hell out of my house. Very well. May the coming year treat you well, sister dearest. Piss off. Can't believe she'd stoop that low. Oh, oh wait, actually, I can. The utter bitch. Is there nothing she wouldn't do to hurt me? I really should, uh, Inglomnius, whatever his name is. Them too. Are they all in on it? Do they hate me that much? Ishabella. I was close. Salutations, mother. Say hello to grandmother, Volumnius. Hello. Speak up, young man. So, sorry. Hello, grandmother. I, uh, I remember. Those are the exact same words they said yesterday. This is... Mama? No, 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 I've not gone hard of hearing you, imbecile. But, but I didn't say. I don't know what's going on, or how Begonia managed to involve you, but I will not forget this. I always knew you were a disappointment. Take that shrimp with you and get the hell out. But I'm not a shrimp. Volumnius, we are leaving. It appears your grandmother is unwell. We shall celebrate the holidays on our own. Oh, what about the gift? I'll talk to you later, Mama. To think that my own son would join forces with my sister. I'm going to be real pissed in a minute when Chakra comes around. However, I will not let them get away with it. Whatever that was, it's over and done with now. No. Please. No. Not you, of all people. How could you? I beg your pardon, my love. 
I just want this to end. Whatever this is. You all came here yesterday and now you're here again. And I can understand them doing this to me. But you? I, I assure you that I... Just go. Just, just go. Please. Just go. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't let anyone see you like this, you fragile old hag. Ezra, I... I know things have been hard for you, but I, I'm here now, and I... Leave. Very well. I am but a phone call away. Always. Please, remember that. Oh, damn. I, I don't understand. He was so lovely yesterday, like he always is, but now he's... He's like the rest of them. What changed? What? My head hurts. Ooh, spooky. Yeah. This place. Wait. I've seen it before. Oh, I remember now. I saw it last night. After that shadow visited me. What did it say? This might hurt a bit. Oh. But that's what that damn thing said, right? But... What the... What? Am I... Am I losing my mind? Is there something in here that can help me make sense of what's going on? Um... The note. Shopping list. Wait. No. Th this isn't that at all. There's something written on here. Don't trust the lady in white. That's strange. It's definitely my handwriting, but I can't remember actually writing this. And what lady in white? This situation is getting shittier by the minute. New clue added to the codex. A warning. Ooh. No characters. Apparently we've met no characters, which seems untrue. Uh, clues. A warning. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Just says the same thing. Okay. What else we got? Calendar. I can check the calendar. The date. It's still the same as yesterday. But I'm I'm certain I crossed that off. Then I'm am I really Am I reliving yesterday? Like some trashy movie. But that's impossible. Isn't it? The date not having changed. This note written by me warning myself not to trust the lady in white. I definitely could attribute those things to Begonia as well. After all, I wouldn't put it past her to go the extra mile if it meant making me miserable. But... No. No, it's too elaborate. Even working together, they, they couldn't possibly have pulled all this off. There's something much beyond the ordinary at play here. Even someone with my particular set of abilities would come to the same conclusions, no doubt. Alright... Ass, Rebeth, you bitter old cow. Seems like you're stuck in a time loop. Unironically. If I'm correct, then all I have to do is go to sleep, and tomorrow should be the same day again. I'll make sure to cross off the day of the calendar before turning in. I doubt I'll be able to get much sleep, though. Mm. I love that noise. Oh man, I'm very intrigued. I am very, very, very intrigued to see where this goes. Oh, it's Q1 2025. Okay, so this is definitely going on the wish list, 100%. And I'm very much looking forward to checking this out when it does come out properly. I feel like I've been on a bit of a roller coaster with, with, with Ezra Beth. Like, I, I started out like before we kind of got into it thinking, no, oh, just grumpy old lady. But no, it's, it's much, much, much more than that. It's. As I've said multiple times, generational trauma, she was shit on by her parents, so all she knows in being a parent is shitting on her kids. And in turn, her grandson is going to have the same, and it's horrible, and it's just that's just the way that works. Which is shit. Um, add to the mix that you're a psychic, and instead of your family kind of embracing that as a gift and being able to kind of help with it, they were like, well, you're a freak. Get out of here, um, is what it sounds like. She's still a dick, yes. It's kind of understandable to a sense, 
I feel for Volumnius the most. <laughs> sweet, sweet little baby boy. Sweet little shrimpy baby boy. But yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see where this goes and finding out some more information about the family and what happened in the past. And I'm sure there'll be some sort of kind of overarching redemption arc happening, which is always good for the feels. I enjoyed this a lot. Very well written. Made me made me actually care about the characters in a good and bad way. Watch this space for Q1 2025. Love you, bye.